Hello guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to replace the front brake pads on a Toyota Prius second generation. So it's the same procedure from 2004 all the way until 2009. Those are the brake pads right there. We got them online. They're very inexpensive. And what you need to do is a 21mm tire wrench or you just use the one that you have from the car. Jack the side that you need to replace, the right and the left side they're in identical. So we'll show you on the right side of the vehicle and always put a jack stand or a wood box, safety first. Okay, those are the brake pads right there. Always get the tire not loose before you jack the car up. And we just got them loose and we only have two holding right now so we're removing the last one so we can save you some time okay and now we need to take the tire off of the vehicle okay now we will need to turn the steering wheel to the right so we can work on the brakes so we have enough room this is the brake caliper right here okay now we need to get this bolt on top loose with a 14 millimeter socket and the one on the bottom and before you remove them just get them loose we need to get a big flathead screwdriver so we can compress the the piston inside the caliper so when we install the new brake pads the caliper will fit on top of them because those are worn out now which means the piston is out of it so you need to get there and kind of like get it on the disc between the disc and the brake pad and just apply evenly pressure on one side and then switch to the other side until you see the piston moving. Okay, you can see how much more room we're getting now. So we need to make sure that it goes almost all the way that it can because the new brake pads, they're way bigger than those old ones that are wore out and super thin. And now we need to take the bolts off, the one that we already got loose. Take them off all the way, both the one on the bottom and the one on the top. And this is holding the caliper to the bracket right here. And now you should be able to slide the caliper out of there. And those are the brake pads. Those are the old ones. And what we need to do is just get a screwdriver and pry them out of there one at a time. Okay, those are the, I think they call them the shimmers. You need to keep those. And there is one on the inside, the same procedure, right there. Make sure that you take the shimmer unless you bought a kit that came with new ones. Okay, now this is the inside pad that it was, and the inside is always more wore out than the outside. It has the one, the sensor that when it gets wore out, it contacts the disc and the light comes on. So now you need to take both of the metal plates out of it like that and install them on the new part okay right there and now you just press it in and it should seal good okay now that's the inside so we need to install it now on the caliper right here you need to go from the back and just slide it in the glide there it goes in a certain spot you cannot get it wrong it is really tight fit and you might need to clean the glides a little bit so they slide better. Now this is the outside part so again we grab both of them if they come apart you just put them back together and we install them on the brake pad. They clip on it okay like that and as you can see the black one is underneath the shiny one. And now we need to install it on the outside part and again go from the outside and push it in. Okay, like that. And now we need to just get the caliper and put it on top of the brake pads. Make sure that it's compressed all the way. You need to line it up with the holes right here and install the two bolts. The one on the top and the one on the bottom. Those are the bolts with the 14 millimeter socket. Okay, make sure that you get the bolts tight. And one more thing. Now you need to go inside the vehicle and press the brake pedal three to four, maybe five times. 
make sure you press it a few times because right now if you have a little bit of play in the caliper the cylinder if the piston is all the way in you might have play and when you hit the brake it's going to pump the cylinder out and contact the brakes okay so you have brakes because otherwise you might not have brakes for the first one or two times you pump the brake pedal and if you forget to do that and you put the tire on and you start driving the car and you hit the brake the first time you don't have brake you're in trouble so make sure you do that safety first so that's how you do it you do the left side the same way we did the right side if you have any questions let us know don't forget to subscribe to our channel for about five new videos every week and please give us a like